Well, hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be talking about analog video capture. After my big flood that destroyed my editing PC a few weeks ago, I decided I needed to upgrade my analog video capture. I had kind of some cheap equipment for that beforehand. I've had a lot of comments about the poor quality when we're capturing from analog video. So I decided to go with a Blackmagic Intensity Pro 4K. Uh, it should be a lot better system, should be broadcast quality, regular NTSC or PAL video. Uh, it'll also do HD and 4K and RGB and component composite, all that stuff. But I wanted something that would capture analog video sources uh, better than I had been. So today we're going to take a look around this, get it installed, and hopefully it'll work great. Stick around. So this one I picked up used on eBay. They're about $300 brand new, and with everything I was having to replace after the flood, I was trying to save money where I could. So I picked this one up used at about half the cost of new, and it came with everything that it was supposed to come with. It comes with the card. It's a PCIe uh, form factor for the card. It also comes with the dongle, and this will allow you to hook up RGB, composite, component, S-video, uh, just about any kind of analog input. So that's definitely something that I wanted. Even comes with an adapter for S-video. So should be pretty full featured. The card itself, if we look at the edge of it here, has two HDMI inputs. It has the input for the dongle and that's that's it. This is purely a capture card, which is exactly what I was looking for. I've got a pretty nice uh, graphics card in my new editing PC so I didn't need something else to output video I just needed something to get it into the computer so let's get the computer up here on the desk and get this installed it should be pretty easy all right let's go ahead and get the cover off of here and then to access my PCI slots the entire power supply and everything just pulls right out of the way I've always enjoyed these Dell computers with that. It kind of makes it easy. And we need a free PCI slot, so we'll have to remove one of the plates. Let's get a look inside. Since I've got this graphics card in here, I'm not going to use the slot right below it. I want to leave some cooling room, so I'm going to use my bottom slot here. But we'll go ahead and get this slotted in. Push that in. There we go. It's nice and tight, out of the way. Still gives room for the cooling on that capture card. Swing this back down. Make sure all my cables are away. There we go. And we'll bring this back down and lock it. All right, let's go ahead and get this side panel put back on. These always seem to come off easier than they go back together. go. Alright, so there we are all installed. I'm going to go ahead and get the computer hooked back up. We'll get this dongle put on it and we'll see if we can get some software installed, get this set up and capture some video. We'll see how it looks. So the software that comes with this is actually pretty full featured. It comes with a desktop video setup app that is tailored to the device that you're actually using. And down here it shows you which input is active, which of your video outputs is active. It actually does allow you to output back out to your device, which is nice. That was uh, kind of unexpected. I wasn't really looking at it for that, but that'll be nice because I was always using kind of substandard equipment to output to my analog stuff from digital anyway. So that's, that's kind of nice. Uh, but if we click here, this gives you all of your different settings for your Intensity Pro 4K card. For the video output, uh, you can set it to whichever standard you want. Uh, I'm using the 525 line NTSC regular SD. Uh, it'll do NTSC or PAL, and then it'll go all the way up to 4K resolution for your video output. 
uh, shows which of your outputs is active down here. If we go to the video input on the top, this is where you set which of the video inputs you're wanting to use. HDMI, component, composite, S-video. You can adjust your levels on the video signal here based on what's selected up top. The audio lets you adjust your left and right channels for that. Uh, analog audio output levels. Uh, you can convert, which is actually pretty neat. So on the input, you can convert your SD input to HD, lets you do it as a zoom or anamorphic. You can go HD down to standard definition for the capture. Uh, same thing for the outputs. So really cool, pretty full featured. Uh, now if we get out of this, the Media Express is actually the software that comes with it for the capture. Now this card is natively supported in most of the popular video editing suites that are out there, but this works by itself if you need it to uh, log and capture your footage. You have a preview screen here. Uh, you can play back from here, play back out to your device. Uh, you can edit to tape. It's a really cool piece of software. So what I think I'm going to do, uh, because most of the footage that I have of projects for the channel were uh, sent out to VHS with substandard equipment, so I don't want to capture that back in because it won't really show us the quality. So I'm going to grab a pre-recorded VHS tape from, we'll try the mid-90s, and uh, maybe capture some previews or something off of that because I think that'll probably be about as high quality as you're going to find out there. And then maybe later on at some point uh, we'll do some uh, footage out and back in and do another video showing that. But for right now, I'm going to get my VCR set up, capture in some previews, and let's see how they look. Once upon a time, you discovered the magic of movies. It's me. Touching stories. Nessie! That captured your heart. Exciting tales. Get out! That took you on wild adventures. And heroes. Welcome to Sherwood, my lady. That swept you off your feet. Now, share with your family a collection of movies that will thrill and delight them. MGM UA Family Treasures. Don't drop it. What do you know about girls? Where is that good little boy that used to live here? So nice being engaged. Ah! Treasure the fun and adventure with your whole family today. MGM UA Family Treasures. So yeah, I'm pretty impressed. I think it's going to be a great addition to the equipment here in the studio. I can't wait to really dig into it, do some output input to SVHS, VHS, Hi8, whatever it may be. Now, if you use one of these and have experience with it and have any tips, feel free to leave those in the comments below. It's a, a new piece of hardware and software for me, so um, I'm excited, but I'm a novice. So uh, go easy on me with uh, any errors you found in my video here. But until next time, that's all I have. I appreciate you coming along for the ride. Until next time, happy watching.